Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC coming to you from the man cave. All right, we're going to unbox my second. This is the second time I've ever had the uh, Freewing L39 80 millimeter. And uh, the first one I had, I had the uh, Russian camo version one. And my only complaint with that was that the the camo really works. You really have a hard time seeing that plane. Uh, but that's that wasn't a deal breaker. Just it really worked. Uh, this time I bought. And I sold it to a friend of mine at the club who really wanted it, and you know I didn't fly it that much. This is back probably two, maybe two and a half years ago, and I really my jet journey, so to speak, hadn't gotten all that well, and I was actually intimidated by the plane, so I didn't fly it that much. So I sold it to him, and it had like I think maybe not eight, nine flights on it at the most, zero damage. It's like basically it's a brand new plane. I just took the receiver out, and I gave sold it to him, and. Uh, I have regretted selling to him ever since. Now, he's loving it, but <laughs> anyway, so I went ahead and I bought the other one. This time I got the red, white, and blue, I guess it's the Swiss livery, I think, and I think, I think, and uh, for two reasons. I like the camo, but it is harder to see, <clears throat> and for my wife to film these, these videos, this red, white, and blue will show up really well. Uh, now, this has a little over uh, 1,053 millimeter wingspan. It's 113.51 millimeters long. Without the battery, she's uh, 2,200 grams. And the state we got the standard. We got the plug and play, obviously. And uh, let's see. Yeah, it'll run on a 4,000 to 5,000 success, and I'll probably run a combination of those. Um, I just remember it was a really well handling plane when I did fly it, and I, like I said, I regret getting rid of it. Um, let's see if there's any addendums in. Obviously, this is an unboxing video. Um, any special addendums in the video in the book? Just your multi-control box. Stuff about your ESC. But I don't see. Sometimes if they have a misprint or they have an update, they'll sometimes put it in these manuals. I don't see anything. So. And this particular model here was uh, released in 23, this model, not the L39 uh, production times for each model. So this will be one of their newer ones. Not saying that it's got upgrades, I'm just saying this is one of the newer production ones. Um, I forget now where I saw that at. Oh, it's on the side of the, if you look on the outside of the cardboard the box, they'll have a like a production date on it. And this was September of 23. So this is fairly new. That is the uh, slide-on gun or cannon underneath. Okay. It's a two-part co uh, coffin, foam coffin. I love the fact the wing is one piece. That is cool to me. The other thing I like is that, now see, I understand E-Flight, they don't do this. Well, they do from some of their stuff. But for the most of the stuff, they've got a white plane. They choose to, they got a white foam plane, they just choose to take that as a shortcut and they don't paint that foam white. Well, you know what? That's a cheap and cheesy maneuver, if you ask me. And my thing is, you pay, you, you pay more for E-Flight planes, they should take that extra step and paint that white foam white. Freewing doesn't do that. They paint almost all their planes that are white I'm sure there are some, but they almost all, the white foam is painted white. And as with all free wing models, the, the finish on the foam is perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right. Wing is beautiful. Definitely won't have any problem seeing this. But this isn't Swiss, this is the Czech um, livery. So, yeah, this is, this is going to be a fun plane. It's going to be quite fun. Quite fun. All right. Vertical stabilizer, otherwise known as rudder or elevator. Sorry, 
or horizontal. That's a horizontal stabilizer, otherwise known as your elevator. Horizontal. Very nice. You have foam with reinforced um, nylon hinges. So that's nice. So even if the foam hinge cracks down the middle, you still have two mechanical nylon hinges in there to uh, back it up. Ball links are already hooked up on all control surfaces so far. Yeah, everything. On the rudder, everything. So that is awesome. Um, the nose cone you do have to glue on, which I prefer a, mag a larger piece magnetic nose cone, but that's okay. That's, it's, still, it's still a strong nose cone. You still be able to stand it on its belly, or on its nose. Your little bag of bits and pieces. One of the Okay, here they are, both of the drop tanks. Again, magnets are, magnets are already installed, and the white foam is painted. All right. The world's best glue, which I love that glue, I really do. All right, here is the wing tanks that have the lights installed in there. All you have to do is plug them in, and they bolt right on the side. Okay. The only gluing needed in the entire model is the back half of the fuselage. This will be, yeah, this is the, uh, I guess they call pylons parts, the, uh, what you glue on to hold your missiles, your drop tanks in. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. And always check every bit nook and cranny. Because sometimes I have white pieces wrapped in white foam and then down in white foam. <laughs> Camo, you won't be able to see it. And of course the main event, the fuselage. Fuselage. <laughs> what I was hoping to see, looky right there, that yellow pigtail, she's got reverse thrust, hot dog, she's got reverse thrust, one of the newer ones, and if you look, on the back of there, see those two bolts, those two bolt holes on the back of the uh, uh, motor there, that way I can bolt in a afterburn, I know, I know, this plane Probably doesn't come with an afterburner in real life. And you know what? I don't care. I'm going to add one. I'm crazy. I'm going to add a, a KM Models one, actually. Uh, it turns blue and purple and all in pretty colors. And uh, so I'll be adding that to it. And she's got reverse thrust. So I need at least seven channels, which is no big deal. I'll be using a seven channel Lemon RX Gen 2 stabilized receiver. Now it has stabilization as in wind mitigation. Uh, help you with the wind will not self-level okay they don't they no longer make as far as i know is what that far stand limit rx no longer going to make self-leveling gyros receivers they're just going to have the wind mitigation just help you with the wind all right okay not really sure where the camera cut off so i'll just add this to it um she does have thrust reverse that, that's that little yellow cable, so you'll need a 7-channel receiver. EC5 connection for your battery. Okay, your first steps in building the plane will be uh, using that supplied glue. Score up this area here real well. Glue that on, let the, set that aside. And then, then I would put the wingtip lights on. And by then, by that time, this should be ready. Um, but yeah, we're going to we'll go ahead and build it here in just a moment, but I just want to go over the parts. This is just an unbox unboxing video. Everything was packed perfectly, of course. And it's a very small part count. And like I say, you've got, um, you get a few extra ball link connections just in case you drop them. And a Phillips head screwdriver is all you need to put it together along with uh, glue. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple build. The most tedious part, other than gluing on the, the back half, 
um, will be um, putting on your lights because you have to hook them up. You have to pay attention to your polarity. You have to hook two different uh, sets up, and then they kind of tuck in there. They're kind of fiddly to get in there, but once they're in there, you, it's, it's very obvious. And then it's just a matter of four bolts the wing on. Uh, I want to say you got six, four for the elevator, and four for the yeah, four for the rudder, and that's really all you need. Off camera, I'll be taking these wires and straightening them out from the vertical and horizontal and just get them straight out of the way they're easy to deal with. And nice thing about this model is you also get a go get them wire, which is a valuable tool. If you, when you get your freaking models and you put them together, don't throw this away. This is like one of the best tools you'll ever get in any of these kits. They're invaluable for pulling wires through fuselages. All right, folks, well, thank you for watching. That is the unboxing of the Freewing L39 um, 80 millimeter. And we'll be back in just a little bit with a build video. And then there'll be our radio setup video that's separate and then a maintenance. So four, four videos total. All right, folks, y'all have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless each and every one of my wonderful tubinators. Bye, bye y'all. And don't forget, fake family and friends. And then L39s. Bye-bye.